Another one, another category, is this a place where I think one area where we just disagree with SBA. We think that the act is clear in calling for regional marketing plans and to have plans that are specific to the types of disasters that can occur in uh, specific parts of the country. And that's one where it seems like there is some disagreement over whether what is already there at the national level meets the requirements of that act. So that's one where we just have a fundamental disagreement, it seems. Some of the others, such as having a um, uh, programs that involve private lenders, those were, um, have uh, those programs, SBA wants to conduct pilots before rolling out an actual program to get the experience of the program. That's one where even though SBA has not met uh, the requirements in terms of deadlines, we're fairly sympathetic to because from our general work dealing with federal loan insurance and guarantee programs, sometimes when you go into a new type of venture, pilots can be very effective. We are, those are some of the examples as far as why there have been delays. One of the reasons we made a recommendation that SBA should come up with time frames for the implementation of completing the requirements of the Act is we think that that will help facilitate a certain discipline in terms of getting to where it should be. Okay. Uh, Ms. Mills, one of the most surprising findings of the report is the fact that nearly four years since Hurricane Katrina, the agency is still struggling to develop a risk-based disaster response plan. And as we enter the peak of hurricane season next month, will the SBA continue to rely on a disaster plan that is over two years old and that contains obsolete information? Now, I presume that you're talking about our annual disaster plans. We submit monthly plans to Congress and assessments of where we are. But we will complete this annual plan. Um, we agree that it's, dr it's dramatically important and overdue, and we will complete it. Do you have a timeline? And my, my next question is, will that disaster plan, comprehensive plan, will have the components uh, mandated by the law? Yes, it will, and many of these components are in place, and I think we need to just get you the plan. When do you think it will be expected, since I mentioned that the hurricane season, yeah. season is, uh, is... I'll get back to you with an exact date, but we promise, but uh, we will look to do it as soon as possible, because we have... Um, uh, I, w I do want to say we want to thank Mr. Shear because these actually have been very helpful template for us to go through and uh, execute these things. So I think we are poised to bring you this report. But you, you understand the urgency yes, of having this plan in place before the hurricane season is uh, over us? Uh, yes, we do, and we actually have the capacity in place, so I think it's a matter of the report, which we owe you and we'll get to you. Administrator Mills, uh, this committee has asked SBA on a number of occasions if it has the resources and controls necessary to prevent contracting fraud. In the past, the agency has said that they have the resources necessary to prevent fraud in the hub zone program only to have the GAO to find otherwise. So let me ask you today, do you have sufficient resources and internal controls to prevent fraud in the 8A program? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, the 8A program is for small businesses. It is not for big businesses masquerading as small businesses. This has been a concern about this program. We have um, done a number of things to begin to um, make sure that we 
eliminate fraud and abuse um, and address the issues that have been raised. The first is that we have a strong upfront certification program and uh, a formal certification that's done in two geographic areas specializing in this, Philadelphia and San Francisco. In addition, we've done some things since our last visit to you uh, to specifically invest in this uh, activity. The first is leveraging technology. We have added to our business development management information system in order to be able to better track these companies through their nine-year cycle. We are uh, mandated to invest in them for business development, and we have uh, two tools. Administrator, I mean, excuse me one yes. second, but I, I, since we have, and I have a lot of other questions, I just want to make sure that today you're telling our, our committee that you understand that you have the resources and the controls in place and necessary to prevent fraud in the aid program. And we, are, we are making investments now in those things. We are, um, uh, have put in the uh, 2010 bud budget some additional mm -hmm. resources that would be very okay. helpful. And um, we are working on a package of regulatory changes which uh, will soon be brought public before you. The same with the Service uh, Disabled Veteran Program. Yes, the Service Disabled Veteran Program um, is extremely important, as you know. That is slightly different because we need to work in conjunction with the Veterans Administration. We have a very important um, um, report coming, I think, from the GAO to help us um, work with them. I have a meeting with the Veterans Administration um, to work on the issue of their database, which is the database that um, is the governing database on who is a service disabled veteran. That is critical for this program to, to um, only be able to deliver to service disabled veterans. Mr. Shear, given everything that you have reviewed in putting together this um, uh, report, are you comfortable that the SBA is prepared uh, to meet the challenges of another major disaster on the scale of Hurricane Katrina? I wish I could give another answer, but the answer, do I and do we feel comfortable about the question you posed, the answer is no. These are some of the reasons why, is that there's certain parts of the re requirements in the Act that haven't been met, and among them, let me just go back to the disaster recovery plan from 2007. At the time it was provided to us, the administrator proposed it to us, it was a conceptual approach. And it would have to, and part of our view for its strategic planning in our recommendations to the, admi to the uh, administrator and also in the act itself, we think strategic planning should be a very um, living document. So, for example, there have been disaster simulations have occurred, yet we don't know that that's the best thing you do to simulate disasters of the size of Katrina. Mr. Shear, yes. let's clarify that that was under the previous administra uh, administration. Okay, yes. But now the, we do have, yes, from the previous administrator. Yes, thank you. In terms of the disaster simulations, like we know the disaster simulations the agency used in 2008, and they are of catastrophic disasters. Yet what we don't know, and this committee doesn't know, is what were the results of those simulations in terms of the capacity of the agency to deal with a disaster of the size of another Hurricane Katrina, nor what lessons have been learned from running those simulations. So in the absence of some evidence that the agency is in a position of uh, responding even on a simulation type basis causes us to answer that you know that answer 